In my previous videos, we talked about the concepts of space and counter space and the principle of incommensurability. The concepts of inertia and loss of inertia were also introduced. And I made a video called On Time, where I define time as an emergent property of change. This current video, On Change, was supposed to be a short video with three or four slides only, but it has grown to more than 22 slides. Who would have thought that one could say so much on the subject of change? So, I decided to break it up into a bunch of smaller videos. Each video will be defining some term in physics and cosmology in terms of the word change. What exactly is change? Why does change exist? How does change manifest? Is there a mathematical counterpart to the concept of change? These are the questions that I will attempt to answer in this next series of videos. So let's start by reviewing some of the terms we have already talked about in the previous videos. So far we have inertia is resistance to change, loss of inertia is change, and time is an emergent property of change. Notice how all these terms are defined in terms of the word change. Inertia is resistance to change, loss of inertia is change, and time is an emergent property of change. But why must change exist? What or who is driving change? Well, if you've been paying attention, then you will already know the answer to this question. Time is an emergent property of change because change is built into the program. In my previous video on time, I said that time is built into the equation, but I thought that using the word equation might cause some confusion. So instead, I used the word program. Being a computer scientist, I thought that it made more sense for me to use the word program. Time is an emergent property of change, and change is built into the program. Change is built into the algorithm, the process, and the system. Whatever you want to call it, change is built in. In other words, if the universe were a computer, and I'm not saying it is, running a program, and I'm not saying it does, then change would be programmed in. Why? because of the principle of incommensurability. The principle of incommensurability demands that this be so. The principle of incommensurability states that if one thing or principle exists, then its incommensurate counterpart must also exist. If space exists, then counter space must also exist, and vice versa. If light exists, then darkness must also exist, and vice versa. If sound exists, then silence must also exist, and vice versa. Change and unchanging are incommensurate principles. If change exists, then unchanging must also exist, and vice versa. Change being the incommensurate principle to resistance to change, or inertia, or stasis, or whatever you want to call it, must exist. The mainstream, uh, as mainstream physics likes to blame everything on the uncertainty principle and relativity, I'm going to be blaming everything on the principle of incommensurability. If one thing or principle exists, then its incommensurate thing or principle must also exist. If space exists, and most people say it does, then its incommensurate principle counter space must also exist. Change exists. Change is inevitable. This is what we experience in reality. I challenge any one of you out there to stop change. I challenge anyone out there to stop the aging process or the process of evolution. That change is built into the program seems obvious. All you have to do is open your eyes. All you have to do is open your ears. All you have to do is open your mind. All you have to do is observe nature and you will see that change is built into the program. Open all your sense doors 
and you will see that change is built in. Thanks for watching.